Well, I think most of the companies in the Bitcoin space uh, are seeing um, some fantastic growth this year, as you, uh, as you, you may know, Bitcoin is... Hey there, guys. What's going on? And welcome back to our channel. The stock market has given investors plenty of reasons to smile last year, but no one is grinning bigger than cryptocurrency holders. All digital coins now have a collective worth of more than $1 trillion, up from $250 billion in January 2020. Today, we're going to have a look at the richest people who made money from cryptocurrency. Number 7. Barry Silbert, $1.5 billion Following the sale of his business stock trading platform Second Market to Nasdaq in 2015, the Emory University graduate found a digital currency group which is a collective of five businesses. Grayscale, a digital asset manager, is the company's major revenue generator. The firm is in charge of $28 billion in Bitcoin, Ether, and other digital assets. It was the first company to obtain regulatory approval to market Bitcoin-backed securities. Blue are companies that are raising less than $50 million, and the orange are ones raising more than $50 million. Number six, Tyler and Cameron Winklevoss, $1.6 billion each. The twins, who are most known for accusing fellow Harvard student Mark Zuckerberg of stealing their concept for a social network, spent a portion of their $65 million court settlement with the Facebook CEO in 2012 to begin accumulating Bitcoin. They still have an estimated 70,000 Bitcoins as well as other digital assets in their possession. They co-founded cryptocurrency exchange Gemini in 2014 and it now conducts around $200 million in deals every day. We bought a lot of crypto on Mt. Gox which famously imploded and very few people were believers who actually imagined where this could go. So we thought for this to go mainstream, for this technology revolution to really happen. Number 5. Chong Peng Zhao CZ, $1.9 billion. In 2014, the former software developer sold his Shanghai home to invest entirely in Bitcoin. Binance was founded in the summer of 2017 and became the most popular cryptocurrency trading platform in less than a year. It has now developed a variety of business lines, including a venture capital fund and a Bitcoin mining company, as well as a debit card that allows you to spend your cryptocurrency throughout Europe. He once flipped burgers at McDonald's and worked late night shifts at a gas station to help cover home costs as the son of a professor who was temporarily banished from China. Binance CEO enrolling in McGill University to study computer science. Number 4. Michael Saylor, $2 billion. He was the CEO of software business MicroStrategy and one of the most well-known internet businessmen, even making People Magazine's list of most eligible bachelors. However, due to dubious accounting, his financial records had to be restarted and the dot-com bust caused his stock to fall. He's on this list as a result of two major moves. MicroStrategy started in December 2020 that it had purchased 70,784 bitcoins for $1.1 billion, now worth $2.5 billion with cash, and borrowed $650 million, helping to send the stock up more than 300%. Furthermore, Saylor claims to have purchased 17,732 bitcoins for $175 million, which is now worth about $650 million. It's the most secure database in the world. It's the most secure asset in the world. The way that you make it secure is through the... Number three, Chris Larson, $2.9 billion. Larson, 60, is a serial entrepreneur who co-founded online lender Elon in 1997 and prospers eight years later. In 2012, he co-founded Ripple with Jet McCaleb to help banks handle international payments. Larson is mentioned as a defendant in a Securities and Exchange Commission complaint filed in December 2020, alleging that Ripple offered XRP to the public in an unregistered securities offering. My name is Chris Larson. I'm the executive chairman of Ripple. The ways from your session. One of the key things that we were... Number two, Sam Bankman fried $4.5 billion. Bankman fried who launched the quantitative crypto trading business Alameda Research in 2017, 
oversees $2.5 billion in assets at the age of 28. He founded FTX, a crypto derivatives exchange, in 2019. He's an MIT graduate and former Wall Street ETF trader. The majority of his money is invested in FTX's stocks and tokens, FTT. To, to kind of money laundering concerns, those are serious. They touch all industries. And, and th- those are just regulations. Number one, Brian Armstrong, $6.5 billion. Brian's Coinbase is one of the most prominent cryptocurrency exchanges with around $3 billion in daily trading. After working in Deloitte and Airbnb, Armstrong, 38, co-founded the exchange in 2012. It's presently the most valued crypto company in the United States. Armstrong controls around 20% of Coinbase, which submitted a secret IPO filing in December. So do let us know your thoughts regarding all of this in the comments down below. That said, if you enjoyed this video and wish to be updated about more content like this in the future, then all you have to do is like, share, and subscribe. And with that, I'll catch you guys later in another video. Bye now.